हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल द लेस इज मोर सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एन एडिटोरियल ऑन इंटरनेशनल रिलेशंस एंड द रिसेंट मिस्टर एक्सटर्नल अफेयर मिनिस्टर एस जयशंकर विजिट टू ईरान एंड वी विल शो हाउ दैट द मल्टी अलाइनमेंट विल इज द नेसेसिटी एंड द नीड ऑफ द आवर फॉर इंडिया टू बी अ मोर सेल्फ रिलायंट एंड have a better relation and and embrace the policy of the vasudev kutumbakam the one earth one family okay so it is uh, required so let's start the editorial directly the title of the editorial is the new multi alignment modi putin meeting external affairs minister jay shankar's visit iran visit so india's capacity to engage diverse partners at odds with each other The current moment in international affairs is marked by renewed great power rivalry. The conflicts in Europe and West Asia between Russia and Ukraine, Israel and Hamas, and the bro- in the broader tussle between the U.S. and China on economic, technological, strategic fronts make it tempting to view the global scenario in binaries. Two recent events, however, show that New Delhi has managed to engage with diverse partners. who are often at odds with each other if india's non alignment during the cold wars was in principle if not practice defined by its claim of equidistance from the two blocks its current multi alignment is guided by national interest and the need to forge bilateral relationships on monday prime minister narendra modi and russian president vladimir putin had a phone conversation in which they reportedly discussed the special and privileged st- strategic partnership between the two countries the ukraine conflict and a further deepening of bilateral ties around the same time external affairs minister s j shankar was concluding a two day visit to iran where he met his counterpart and other senior officials and finalized cooperation on developing chabhar port russia and iran are in a sense on the other side vis a vis india and china in the early stage of the ukraine conflict the us put considerable pressure on delhi to take a stronger position against russia's aggression iran too is embroiled in a regional cold war with israel and saudi arabia india has deep partnership with both the nations that it has managed to maintain these bilateral ties even as its partnership with the us and europe grows is significant significantly with both nations delhi has not compromised on its core principles pm modi reportedly reiterated india's position to putin that war cannot be a solution and jay shankar communicated zero tolerance zero tolerance for terror and how the how the attacks on merchant vessels harm india's interest it is equally important to recognize the underlying condition that have allowed new delhi room to maneuver on the global stage The first of these is India's continuing economic rise. The size of its market as well as its potential for future growth give Delhi both strategic and diplomatic heft. Second, as China has grown more aggressive in Asia and beyond, many in the US and West see India as a crucial regional counterbalance. Among the many factors that make India an att- attractive partner is its credentials as liberal pluralist democracy. as it continues to navigate the choppy waters of geopolitics and geoeconomics to secure its interest india must ensure it does not slip on either front so in this editorial the author has shown us that how it is important for india to have multi alignment with all the nations be it uh, uh, enemy of the other enemy of the other neighboring countries so uh, but our core policy would be the india's national interest and the prosperity for all in the region so being a security provider in the south asian and the indian ocean india requires to balance the india iran relation as well as india russia relations uh, to counter china and the us and also maintain its uh, credibility oh, as a security net security provider in the indian ocean
so this was for today let me find out the some five new keywords that we can use in daily conversation as well as writings okay so engage with diverse partners at odds with each other second is at odds with each other right now what india is to china is russia is to iran that's why we need a strategic and equidistant relation with all the countries considering the india's interest in the gulf and the arabian peninsula second third is to forge bilateral relationship fourth is reiterated again the india has reiterated its position to russia that war cannot be a solution and jay shankar also communicated zero tolerance to terror okay so this was the five words that i would like to use and i also recommend you to comment in the comment section five new words that you find appropriate for yourself to use in your daily conversation as well as writings okay yeah. so till then bye bye signing off for the day.